Hello everyone. How are you doing today? Are you ready for a story? An umbrella for Dhruvi. That is going to be today's story. The author of the story is Shabnam Minvalla and the illustrator is Malvika Tiwari. And the publisher of this book is Pratham Books. Dhruvi, the dragonfly, has just learned to fly. She flies near the pond with her friends. They tease the frogs and eat mosquitoes for lunch. So this is Dhruvi. Dhruvi is a dragonfly and she has just learned to fly. And what is she doing after learning to fly? She flies with her friends. Together they go near a pond and on top of it they keep flying. So what do they find there? They have frogs in the pond. So they tease the frogs and the pond will have lots of mosquitoes, right? They have them for their lunch. In the evening, Dhruvi flies to the jungle nearby. She looks at the bird nest and spider webs. She does not see the clouds gather in the sky. So what does she do after playing nicely with her friends? When it's evening, she will go back to the jungle, the forest, which is close by to the pond. So on the way, what is she doing? There, is, there are bird nests so she keeps looking at them and there are spider webs so she's watching all these things and she fails to notice or she doesn't see that the clouds are gathering what is going to happen i think it might rain let us see what's happening plop a raindrop falls on dhruvi's head Dhruvi wants to go back home, but she does not want her wings to get wet. Since she was just wa watching things around, and failed to look at the clouds gathering. She realized that it was late and it's just started raining. And now she wants to go back and yet she doesn't want to get wet. Let us see if she can find a a shelter or an umbrella. That's what the story's title is, right? An umbrella for Dhruvi. Let's see if she can find an umbrella. I need an umbrella, thinks Dhruvi. She flies to the Gulmoha tree. It looks like a strong red umbrella. Ah, there nearby she finds a large tree. What tree is this? This is a Gulmoha tree. Look at all the beautiful red and uh, orangish flowers on the Gulmoha tree. It looks like a fire, right? Colors of fire. You can see it. So she thinks, oh, this can be, this can serve as a nice umbrella for the rains so that I don't get wet. The leaves are too tiny. Too small to even cover an ant, thinks Dhruvi. I need something bigger. So she, when she went near the Gulmoha tree, she realized, look at the leaves. They're all very small. And she knows that she cannot hide under these leaves. She feels, oh God, this is too small. This is even smaller for an ant to hide, she feels. She thinks, oh, now I'll have to look for something bigger. Dhruvi sees big star-shaped leaves. The papaya tree leaves would make a lovely umbrella, thinks Dhruvi. Oh no, it is letting all the rain in. So next to the Gulmo tree, she finds a nice beautiful papaya tree. So she feels the leaves are big. 
that we see if that can serve as an umbrella. So when she goes near, she realizes, even though the leaf as such is very big, look at it, the leaflets, between the leaflets, there is so much gap and the rain starts pouring in the gap. So she feels, no, 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 this is not the, the right umbrella for me. The wind blows strong, but Drumi has still not found her umbrella. She perches under a plant, but the thin leaves fold up. How unkind you are, Drumi says to the touch me not plant. The wind is now blowing very hard. It is very strong now. So she badly needs to find a, a good strong umbrella. So what does she do? So she finds a few plants. She sees if she can perch me, sit. So she goes there and sees if she can sit there. But what happens? The minute she touches the leaves, the leaves fold it up. They fold it together. What sort of plant is this? It is a touch me not plant. Have you heard of a touch me not plant before? It's a very fun plant, right? If you go touch the leaves, what will happen? The leaves will fold up. So it is very sensitive to touch. So that is a touch me not plant. She says, oh, this is not the right umbrella for me, she decides. Dhruvi is upset. The jungle is full of leaves. There are thin leaves and fat ones, big ones and small ones, but none are umbrella leaves. Around she is finding so many leaves. Some are small, some are big, some are thin, some are fat. She feels so oh, none of them seem to be good umbrellas for me. I have to now search around some more. Suddenly, Dhruvi sees a banyan tree. It does not have star-shaped leaves or prickly leaves. The leaves are not too heavy or too small. Then what does Dhruvi find? A large banyan tree. This is a banyan tree. Look at all the, the roots that are coming out. They will, the roots will come down from these branches and will reach the ground and root out into the earth and form new trees. See, look, there are more trees. The roots that came from, from the branches will now become individual trees. So now she looks at this large banyan tree and what does she say? It is not having a star shaped leaves like the papaya tree, nor is it having prickly leaves. Prickly means pokey. It will poke or prick. It doesn't have that sort of leaves as well. The, the leaves are neither too heavy. They are not too heavy, nor are they too small, like the gulmohar tree. Dhruvi flies towards the banyan tree. She perches under the leaf. She has found her umbrella. So what does she do? She has found her perfect umbrella. She goes to the banyan tree and perches under the leaf, sits under the leaf. And now she's all protected from the heavy wind and the rains. More about dragonflies. Dragonflies are great travelers. Some dragonflies, like the wandering glider that we find in our fields and gardens, travel across the open seas from India to Africa. They travel more than 16,000 kilometers to cross the Indian Ocean. They start their journey from India in October and reach countries like Tanzania in January. On the way, they stop at islands like the Maldives and Seychelles. Dragonflies cannot fly if they are too hot or too cold. In the morning, they spread their wings to get heat from the sun. In the afternoon, 
Some dragonflies perch with their body raised and their stomach pointing to the sun to stay cool. So, shall we know a little bit more about dragonflies? So, dragonflies are great travelers. We didn't know, like, the, there are a lot of animals and birds that they travel, right? They migrate large distances to avoid um, probably harsh winters or harsh summers. So like that, the dragonflies also migrate large distances around 16,000 kilometers. It is such a small insect, right? It is traveling 16,000 kilometers. And from where does it leave? It leaves India and it reaches Africa. From India to Africa, they travel. So how long does it take? From October to January, they travel for about four months to reach their destination, Africa. So what all countries do they go through? They go through Tanzania, Maldives and Seychelles. Maldives and Seychelles are islands. What are islands? A land area which is covered by sea or water on all the sides is called an island. So Maldives and Seychelles, these are countries which are surrounded by the ocean on all the sides. So they are called islands. On the way, they have to cross the, the large Indian Ocean as well. They take this, this really adventurous, tough journey and reach Africa. So how do they do their uh, flight? They don't like it when it is too hot. Neither do they like it when it is too cold. So what do they do in the morning? In the morning, they try to get as much sunlight or heat as possible. And then once they are warmed up, that is enough for them. They don't want to get too hot as well. So they keep flying and then in the evening they rest. How do they rest? They rest with their body raised. Their body is raised up and the stomach is pointing the, the sun. That way they keep themselves cool. They've had a very tough flight the whole of morning and they want to cool themselves. So they cool themselves by perching or sitting in that specific way. Let us look at some of the difficult words in today's story. Dragonfly. You've all seen a dragonfly before, right? It is a fast flying, long bodied, predatory insect with two pairs of large transparent wings which are spread out sideways at rest. Tease. Tease is to make fun of in a playful way. Purchase, a place where someone or something rests or sits. Wandering glider. Wandering glider is considered to be the most widespread dragonfly type in the world. This type of dragonfly is the most common one throughout the earth, except in Antarctica. It is found in all other places. Try these questions. Imagine that it is raining and you don't have an umbrella with you. Which leaf would you use as an umbrella? The next question. We saw that the dragonflies would migrate from India to Africa. But within India, to escape the monsoons in the Western Ghats, these insects migrate to the plains and eastern Ghats in millions. Which beautiful insects are we talking about? Did you like today's story? I really enjoyed it. Until next time, this is bye from Soumya.